Hello and welcome to Unit 10 of the Qt tutorial from tutorialcoding.com. Starting this unit, I will demonstrate all the notable Qt widgets. This unit focuses on the radio button, which is an exclusive selection button. Radio buttons emit a signal when they are toggled, but this signal passes along little information, making it hard to use when dealing with several buttons. That's why I create a new derivative class in which I will add a proxy signal that passes along the radio button's name. The name argument is used to set the button label and object name. The object name will be used as argument for the proxy signal. Next I declare the proxy signal, which will be emitted each time the button is selected. This is the first time I declared a signal. It looks much like a method, method declaration, but it has no implementation and is never called. Instead, it is emitted with the emit keyword. I declare a new slot that is triggered each time the grandparent class's toggled signal is emitted. The toggle signal passes along a boolean argument to indicate its new state. This argument is true when the button is selected and false when it's deselected. Here I check the argument and only trigger the new signal when the button is selected. This emits the signal with the radio button's name. I move on to the application window. It will make good use of the newly declared radio button class.
I create two group widgets that will hold the radio buttons and a text edit that will display the messages from the buttons. The container widgets use vertical layouts to arrange the radio buttons. I create a horizontal layout applying it to the main window. Then add the two group widgets and a text edit. Next I create a loop with five iterations. It creates the radio buttons. The first lines compute the button names. First they convert the loop counter to a string, then attach it to a prefix telling the group they belong to. The next lines create the radio buttons and then places them in the container widget. The text edit with widget has a slot that appends a string to its editing area. Here I connect the previously declared signal so that each time a button is selected the message will show up featuring its name.
The final application has two radio button groups. The text edit already displays two messages. The left group, the right group, and the text edit that displays the messages. The first two messages were sent when the buttons have been set up. Each time I select a new button, any other button selected in the group is automatically deselected. But only the buttons in the same group care about my selection. This concludes this sample application. Thanks for watching and goodbye.